what it is, what it do, y'all. It's Boy Oz, and welcome back to your action video, guys. Now, I will just this video called When Employees Fight with Customers. This is new from Just Destiny, guys. He came back. Finally, thank God, I can react to something new. And there's not no copyright, guys, alright? I was reacting to the most of it. So, guys, if you get in a fight and if it's a girl, yes, of course, a, a girl employee, you, like, you gotta do something, alright? If you want to judge the customer, wait, um, well, the customer's always right, so, yeah, so I so I you guys, let's get into it. Crazy people in crazy situations. Let's check it out. Alright, already going off by the tone of that guy's voice, I can already tell that this is going to be a weird situation. To be honest, I have no idea what this guy just said. He said something about chicken wings and her putting it in a basket while the other thing was in there. I'm not entirely sure, but let's keep it rolling. Got some type of terror going on around it. What? Chinese terrorist. Well, well, that's something to... We're gonna get to the bottom of it. Excuse me, young lady. I'd like to have a ranch on this. Can you see her face? She's like, what the hell is going on here? I'm just trying to do my job. Boy, she was not ready for this. Yes, I would like to have a refund, please. Thank you. Big man, a guy in here time. We got a rape toy. We got a crackhead. They are playing a guy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think this guy's on drugs. He said something about a crackhead and a ho-ass I don't know how that's related to this video in any sort of way, but I feel like this guy just ordered some food, he wasn't satisfied, and he just wants a refund. Because why not? Manager at the drive-thru refuses to honor discount that expires in three minutes, and then quits on the spot. I don't know, but I remember I got the video of the lady screaming to the speaker. So just take the five dollars off. Ma'am, I, I can't get it. I can't get it. Yeah, but I got the coupon. You gotta figure it out. Who's the ma Is the manager in? Oh really? It's not twelve o'clock. It's not twelve o'clock. Ma'am, am I? Am I? Eleven fifty-seven, babe. Oh, I see. So, okay, this lady pulled up with her son. They're trying to get a Big Mac. They have a coupon for a Big Mac, and the Big Mac meal costs ten dollars. And I'm assuming this coupon gives you a discount. But the coupon expires at twelve a.m. At the time of this recording, it is at approximately eleven fifty-seven. PM, three minutes before the coupon actually expires. Well then, it's not every day you come across a situation like this. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Look, it expires tomorrow, ma'am. Eleven fifty. It expires tomorrow, ma'am. It, ex it expires tomorrow. Ma'am, my coupon says it expires on the twelfth. It's only the eleventh. Well, on my clock it says twelve. Right, you got it's wrong twelve a.m. Tomorrow's the twelfth. It's the twelfth now. Tell you tomorrow. Don't do it for me. Guess what? All right, hold up. Why are they literally arguing over a coupon? <laughs> I mean, it's not that serious. All she had to do was just discount whatever the hell they were trying to buy and simple. If there's literally three minutes left on the coupon, then f it. Let them have the discount. Like, <laughs> she doesn't have to quit her job and walk out the store over a goddamn coupon. And then you've got the lady in the back just looking at this whole situation like, Why? It's not that deep. Getting so bent out of shape. So what? Don't be getting bent out of shape. It's only a hamburger, ma'am. You see what I mean? Oh, I like how that lady is still in the back just looking at this whole situation. I bet she lives for the drama. My order, please. Well, then, I guess you don't have a job tomorrow. Insane customer slash employee freakout at CVS almost leads to violence. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, first of all, I don't know why these two women are screaming, or is that even a woman or a man? I can't tell, but what the hell is that on top of her head? <laughs> 
I mean, my <laughs> god, she looks like a goddamn alien with that shit sticking from her head. And don't even get me started on this lady who looks like she's about to jump over this counter and do some WWE moves on that cash register lady. But let's continue. Okay, well, I see the store manager has finally come out of hiding and decided to try to break up this whole situation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They're arguing over a shirt? A shirt that was probably made in China for less than a penny? And a shirt that you're buying at Family Dollar, of all places. Like, it's not that serious. I didn't do it, my bad. Here, stop. That's okay. I'll send this to corporate. I've been recording the whole time. I'll send this to corporate. Every time I she will lose her job. Wow. You've got these customers over there. and They're just trying to mind their own business. They're trying to shop for whatever they're shopping for. But no, they can't do it in peace because you've got the manager and the clerk and the customer going at each other's throats as if they're about to knock each other out but hey what do you expect walking into a family dollar i swear to god the craziest stuff always happens at family dollars and walmarts let's move on oh well i take that back apparently crazy shit can happen at the pharmacy too Now, I'm not entirely sure what could possibly be going on at a pharmacy of all places. Like, what did the pharmacist do? Prescribe the guy the wrong amount of Viagra? What? <laughs> oh no. I hate this now. What? Hold on. You see that little old lady right there just looking around? She doesn't know what the hell's going on. She's probably about to tinkle in her diapers. I kind of feel sorry for her. Shut up. Well, as we just saw, the pharmacist lost his shit and decided to throw a phone at the customer's chest. And to be honest, I have to congratulate him because I probably would have done much worse if a customer were assaulting me like that. I mean, my God. Well, it's not every day you see a person driving on the sidewalk instead of the street. I mean, maybe this person's from a different country where people actually walk in the streets and drive on the sidewalks. Hey, cultural differences. Who knows? Well, clearly this lady is uh, confused about the laws of the road. This is a sidewalk. People walk on the sidewalk. And this is a road. People drive on the road. It's not that hard. I mean, they even make the roads and the sidewalks different colors for people who, you know, have a hard time deciphering between the two. But clearly, that's not helping this lady in this situation. Angry, strange woman angrily follows uncomfortable young men around in public. Well then, she must be really angry. Mm. Oh yeah, you could already tell this old lady is really angry. I mean, just look at the face she's making. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I see they're playing a little bit of a ring around a rosy here. Well, you're never too old to have fun. Yo, hold up. I had this problem before, guys, and it was serious and annoying. Like, I saw this girl at the mall before. I mean, this old lady at the, at the mall before. And she decided to look at me like she was, like, walking slow and junk. And I was walking behind her. But she looked kind of high, but... Bonded by that, I was like trying my own my, my own business, but I was looking on my phone and she looked at me like I was doing nothing. Like I was busy like looking for some uh, good old jewelry, which I did like last time on my birthday, and it was serious. Like for real, like she looked at me like I did something to her, which I really didn't, 
And she decided to come at me and say, who you looking at? And what are you doing to me? I, I'm not doing nothing. You can mind your own business, old lady. Days. Not the only one here. <laughs> I like to go here, guys. It's my only thing. So, I'm not worry about it. Let's get back in the video. It's almost over. It's almost over, guys. It's almost over. You can clearly see the old lady is very persistent. I mean, just look at her form. She's dead set on catching that young man. No matter how slow she is. This guy has had it with his crappy modem service. Shout out at Xfinity. F you. Yeah, I have Xfinity too. And they suck. Let's watch what this video has to offer. Alright, so before this guy says anything, you can clearly see that he's wearing some dress shoes, uh, blue pants, and a camo shirt. This guy right here, you don't want to mess with him, especially with him holding that axe. I mean, clearly, we've got a badass over here. Hey, modem on my doors so let me tell you, this is my version of a sales call for you. This is why I think about your public service. What? That's it. You suck. That's the face of a badass. <laughs> But in all seriousness, uh, these internet companies need to get their shit together because there shouldn't be any slow internet in 2018. I mean, holy crap, we've got waterproof phones, wireless chargers, and even toilets that clean your own butt so you don't have to. And yet, somehow in 2018, we still have this slow-ass internet that literally makes you want to go commit not alive. I don't get it. Alright guys, so with that, this video is coming to an end. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you guys know what to do, subscribe. And remember to turn on post notifications, because YouTube, like I said before, sucks with notifications. Also, remember to put your comments down below. I always love to read your thoughts and opinions. And with that being said, it's Just Destiny, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hi. Uh, not gonna lie. We Whoa man My gosh guys It is serious Very serious guys Every store that you go and they have an argument with the employee It happens the most and when I had that before It was terrible like you don't know what's gonna happen if she's like saying you don't have money for this, you have money for that, and she doesn't see the money amount in the freaking credit card. That's why I did. And every time that, that that happened, and most of it was like not my fault, cause she's the one that blamed me that I have I don't have the most money when she didn't see the thing on the freaking monitor. Like for real, like I'm not the one that just had the most money when it was looking at me like, dude, hurry up. And everyone was looking at me like I'm the one. Like everyone was like looking at me, thinking I'm not the one that was like holding up the line. And she's wasting my time buying all those goody goodies. Pause on that. <sighs> so yeah, if you have like a long time in these lines, guys. Not pressure. So guys, I was going. Wow, <laughs> I just hit my charger. I was going to end it here, guys, cause I ain't got to I got to go, cause it's like it's like almost like. 11 so guys hope you guys enjoyed if y'all did please y'all like the video sub to the video um my dog is gonna like watch all the trying to laugh video trying to laugh video guys cuz family members are being a bunch of uh nobody so guys oh my god I'm messing up so guys I'll see y'all next time I mean tomorrow peace man I got a lot of editing wow